All right, so today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Asgard RDA. Um, really, I'm just going to be doing a real quick rewick. Um, doesn't really have any problems or anything. It just needs a real quick rewick. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Kind of go over it, the best coil placement and uh, wicking that can be done for it. Um, uh, oh, that's beautiful. No, like the Asgard RDA is a big fucking RDA, big 30 millimeter RDA. It's the biggest RDA, no, but she's heckin' big, and I'm not gonna lie, but. I like my RDAs thick. I mean, look at me. I'm a fat, big old chubby bitch. I like my shit thick. Alright. Well, you probably, I don't know if you can see it, but my coils are fucking black. Let's see if it'll focus. Right there. My coils have been blackened pretty harshly i've been going through some um jam monster uh raspberry no blackberry i'm definitely going to need to reposition one of these coils here just gently pulse it get a lot of that shit burnt off Pulse and gently I just gotta make sure they're both at the same level, give or take. Give it a nice couple more pulses. I want to make sure there's just no like hot spots. I don't know why that thing's getting a hot spot. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Because if you have like a loose screw or a loose something, you're not going to get an even heat across your uh, coil, which will Sometimes it causes like hot spots or problems with your cotton down the down the line. And just give it another real quick pulse here, just like grab my make sure everything is just nice and even. fucking good let's give it a quick little blow now there is some juice residue build up which just take like a Kleenex or something and just go around and just wipe it up I'm not swapping juices or anything I'm just doing a quick rewick because that's all it really needs you like that view, huh? I really like that ultimate insert in there. Sometimes, if you don't have your, like I've found out that smaller coils tend to cause a little bit of a, of a whistle, and um, aren't exactly always the uh, prime. I mean, it needs like a three millimeter diameter, three and a half millimeter diameter, in order to get the best flavor out of it. Been rocking that recurve dual. My top side single. You know. Uh like the 
Kofo, what is it, the Aliens, the Dual is coming out to like a 0 0.17, 75 watts. Really good flavor. Really good vapor production. This also needed a rewick, but I'll save that for like tomorrow or some shit. Not bad for the orchid. I hope everyone has a good drink on their hand. I'm trying out the new Smirnoff ice flavor. I'm not much for drinking, but I do like Smirnoff Ice. Well, I'm sure you can see inside there. Huge juice well. I think it's like 10 millimeters deep. Plenty of places for your cotton. I'm going to see if I can make this one cotton last the whole The whole RDA, doubtful, but hopeful. Let's take it. I don't think this one's going to fit. This one's at like a three and a half diameter. I don't know how we're gonna fit. I will try though. I definitely don't wanna to put in new coils. So I decided to jack these ones up. Oh shit. There. It'll work. It'll work. up another one here it's one of my biggest fears of running out of cotton because I'm constantly being like oh I should re-wick this I should re-wick that I don't need a fucking re-wick literally anything but I continuously choose to do so because I'm a fucking idiot Sometimes you get really lucky and it goes in really smoothly. Always wipe off your scissors. And just kind of cut it off. Something kind of like that. side trim up an end just a touch Oops. all right and then take our tweezers and you can just stick it on down there One thing I really like about this RDA is that it's, you know, it's a huge, there's a lot of room for your cotton. Now, before I get too far, a little trick that I've slowly learned. If you take this Altum cap, actually, pull it out and place it kind of where your coils would go. Make sure it's not touching anywhere on that cap. I think I'm good. Might be able to should bring this one just a touch. I 
I don't know how well that camera can really be able to pick that up. But yeah, you just place it on there and you check on the inside. And then take this. So on the little holes that go in there. has two little notches that goes into uh, you have to forgive me my fingers are going to be soaked and fucking wet now and then just take a drip tip stick it in there and then save that for later these are all like and sticky now and turn up my watts to about 60 and just drip 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 on there and you just gently pulse it because when you Gently pulse it when you first are re-wicking. That gentle pulse pulls liquid in to the coil and actually helps your cotton last a lot longer. I forget which side it's on. And then you just gently test fire it. Double check for any potential hot spots. That looks pretty good. Put this on. Put my top cap back together. Good and clear on the inside. All right. Turn up the wattage a little bit at about 80. So I'm running a 0 0.13. <laughs> Drip just a hair. Turn the coils in just a little bit. See if I can get rid of that whistle. I didn't have the whistle before. So yeah, it's a little tricky sometimes. Something's not right here. The fuck, huh? <sighs> yeah, it's tricky sometimes. We're fucking sure.
it's much better. Coil placement on this RDA is key. Got a good squonk. So if they're too far apart, they're getting too close to that Delrin, it'll whistle really bad. So you just kind of clean it, like bring them in closer, just so you can kind of see about half of the coil right through the drip tip. That's what I found works best. Just a little bit more. So yeah, that's a real quick rundown of the uh, Asgard RDA. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed making a complete fucking fool out of myself. <laughs> So until then, keep on vaping.